Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with week two of Martial Arts Month. Okay, what's the big secret? This week we're looking at a figure that's shrouded in secrecy. The Ninjor. Ninjor? Don't you mean ninja? No, Ninjor from Masters of the Universe Origins. That's the big secret? The wackest character from Masters of the Universe? Hey, that's a stretch. There's all kinds of whack characters in Masters of the Universe. True, but why Ninjor and not somebody cool like Triclops or Ram Man? Ram Man? It's because it's Martial Arts Month! Oh, let's just get this over with. Raz Holly, hit the music! Ninjas, mysterious masters of martial arts, have been a fascination of young and old for many years. Dating back to the 12th century, ninjas were covert agents or mercenaries in Japan known for secrecy, brutality, and were rumored to have trained to become superhuman, achieving feats such as being able to run across water without getting wet. Not that in, in the United States, this fascination starts in the 1970s martial arts movie craze. Ninjas stick around through the 80s and 90s, but who am I kidding? When have ninjas not been cool? Anyway, in 1987, Mattel's Masters of the Universe was running out of steam, but ninjas were as cool as ever. It's surprising that Mattel didn't throw out the obligatory ninja character earlier, but better late than never, right? That obligatory ninja was Ninjor! Like most names in the Masters line, I'm sure they spent all of 10 minutes coming up with it. Cut to 2021, and Mattel's Masters of the Universe line wasted no time in cranking out a Ninjor figure. Like I said, ninjas have never not been cool. And even though for a Masters figure, even one of the new ones, he's kind of generic, honestly. Can a healthy heaping of ninja help this seemingly ho-hum hero? Let's find out and take a look at Ninjor from the Masters of the Universe Origins line by Mattel. Okay, so new for 2021, it is Masters of the Universe, Ninjor. Evil Ninja Warrior, modern posing, retro play. And here he is, the ninja character from Masters of the Universe. Didn't have the vintage one growing up. Uh, G.I. Joe had, had uh, long since taken over my interest in uh, collecting action figures and uh, professional wrestling as well. That was the first year that I really got in to professional wrestling so um, masters of the universe was uh was a was but a memory and uh, we were on to bigger and better things before you know it it would be the 90s and he-man would be uh, dormant for a few years before retro became cool but let's not talk we're not talking about masters of the universe as a whole we're talking about ninjor um the ninja guy the evil ninja warrior from Masters of the Universe. And as you can see in the packaging, it is a dead ringer for the old school Masters of the Universe packaging. I really love the Masters of the Universe box. Simple, effective, bubble, figure. You can see the whole goddamn thing. Um, see that he comes with a comic book behind him. Modern posing, retro play. That's pretty much the only difference. Of course, says new for 21 up in the corner of the box. We turn it around and we can see a very awesome illustration of Ninjor throwing a kick and he's got his bow and arrow and we've got uh, Clamp Champ and, and King Fucko, uh, King Randor or whatever his name is. Why haven't they made him yet? Ninjor uses uncanny stealth abilities to spy on and surprise attack the heroes of Eternia. Very, very cool. Modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters of the Universe action figures. Masters of the Universe Origins gives you the power to pose Eternia's greatest warriors as retro style figures or in new action packed battle positions. That's the blurb that is on the back of each and every one of these figures. And we can see um, a whole new line of figures. And as you can see, as if you've been to a store recently, you know He-Man and Skeletor are plentiful. Their cup runneth over. Characters you may not see all the time. Stratos, Hordak, 
Triclops and Ninjor. I was able to, lucky enough to pick up these three, but my favorite guy, fucking Stratos, has, uh, I've, I have not been lucky enough to find a Stratos. Somebody wants to, wants to send me a Stratos, uh, get in touch. Anyway, um, arm with an array of ninja weapons, twist into powerful battle positions, and then we have our legal mumbo jumbo across the bottom of the box. Uh, that is pretty much it for the box, and you know what time it is. Let's see what Ninja looks like outside of the package. All right, and I know we've talked about this before, but let's take a look at what we get inside the package. Once we rip out all this crap out of there, we have our... Uh, we have an instruction manual. The oh, fuck. And we've also got the comic book. But before we get to that, let's take a look at um, the, the packaging here. You, we've got it open, but we haven't got it open yet because Ninjor is still attached to this plastic bubble thing um, by little clear rubber bands attached to his arms. And if you're not careful, you can damage the figure trying to get it out of the box. Because, you see, if I grab him by the leg here, he's not coming out. He's he's attached with rubber bands on the arms and legs, and you must uh, cut them off with a pair of scissors. Just design the fucking... It wasn't really going anywhere. I think this package was designed well enough that we didn't need this shit, and um, the, the, the fucking rubber bands are just overkill. And, and, and besides the fact that most people aren't even opening these up, there's just a bunch of booger eaters that collect them and keep them in the boxes just for display. Um, whatever, no judgment here, but... Just, just, just let's fucking design the thing so you don't have to put the rubber bands on there. Could you? Could you fucking Mattel? I know that Mattel is a poor, cash poor fucking, you know, uh, d d toy company that doesn't make a lot of money. And they, and they have to cut corners everywhere they go. So, they, so maybe they can't afford to fucking produce a package that'll just hold the figure. Ah, ah. Anyway, I'm going to open this up and then we'll take a look and see what he looks like on the outside of the box. Alright, so here he is. It is Ninjor out of the box and with all of his accessories. He's actually not that bad looking. Um, seemed a little bland to me before. Again, this wasn't something that I had when I was growing up. Didn't have the original vintage figure. So I don't have any nostalgic uh, attachments to Ninjor, as it were. I do think the idea of a ninja, ninja character is pretty cool in Masters of the Universe. Not opposed to it. However, not necessarily uh, too thrilled with the figure when uh, when it when it came out back in the day. Wasn't thrilled enough to get me back into Masters of the Universe in 1987 or whatever the fuck it was when it first came out. Um, um, but you know, when I saw him in the store, had to bite because I you know I hadn't seen him before and I was like, you know what, looks kind of okay, looks maybe a little bland, but we're gonna find out. And for retail price, not too bad. Now. Let's take a look. We already know the articulation on these modern Masters of the Universe figures. We have like the full arm. He can go all around and has an elbow twists and all that good shit. Um, that, that little piece of paper that he came with. Um, let's take a look at this. Basically showing you, hey, these things can be pulled out and swapped. The, uh, the, the lower parts of the legs here, the, the arms, uh, the hands, and the head can all be swapped around in the in the crotchal area. Um, you can basically break these things down to its base parts and uh, uh, swap them around with everybody, uh, with everybody else. Make your own custom Masters of the Universe figures. They're also compatible with the WWE Masters figures, which we'll be taking a look at here maybe later this year. Um, but that's what that was, if you were wondering. Um, now, and I hadn't seen that before. Uh, but, but here is another thing that it came with was the comic book. Um, now, when we looked at the first series of these figures, they all came with the same comic book. I couldn't tell you if the uh, if these series, this series, came with the same fucking uh, comic book. I don't know. But it, it does look pretty cool. We do have some an interesting looking story here. It looks to be well made. 
if it is the same comic book that comes with every single character in this fucking series, it's kind of lazy. At least this is the this has Ninjor featured on the cover here, introducing the character, telling you all about him. If you're really going to try to be honest and you want to introduce these characters to a new generation of people, you don't have a cartoon on television. I know the Netflix thing is coming, but that's completely different to this. So if you were if you're honest and you're wanting to introduce this this line to to kids ages six and up then um you know what you're gonna need to have comic books for every single one of these characters but let's let's call it what it is these aren't made for little kids little kids don't necessarily give a shit about these characters or the world they come from um these are made for collectors um they're cheaper figures made for collectors by mattel mattel knows what they're doing uh, when it comes to these things and that's why they don't really give a shit when scalpers you know, snap up a bunch of these uh, these figures, figure sets, and things like that. Um, this one, you know what? I only ever saw one of these in the store. That's another reason why I fucking picked it up because of the exclusivity. Let's be honest. I I've never seen this in the store before. I knew that if I if if I passed it up, I wasn't gonna see one again. And I'm right. I didn't see one again. This was the only one I ever fucking found. Um, that's kind of fucked up. Now, how would you expect anybody to fucking get into collecting these things if you can never fucking find them? And you have to, you know, succumb to the, the scalpers that are online selling these things. But fuck that. Let's not talk about scalpers. Let's talk about this figure. Um, he's actually pretty cool. I've got to admit, he has a cool ninja face. He comes with this uh, bow and arrow type of thing, more of a futuristic style bow. It's uh, very static. Um, I'm actually glad that it's more static, so it doesn't like wobble around. It's not soft. It's uh, made out of a harder plastic. Very cool, very sturdy. Um, also comes with a pair of nunchucks and a sword, which he can carry on his person. The sword, um, it, while it's made out of a harder plastic, um, came bent. Well, I mean, guess when you're just fucking tying up shit with a rubber band and a plastic bag behind the figure as tight as you fucking possibly can, well, then I guess, well, that's what you get. That's what you get. And then, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I mean, most people don't even fucking open these things up, so it doesn't matter. They'll never get to fucking swap the, the character pieces out or whatever or, or do anything with them, um, which is unfortunate because these are well-made characters. These are really nice. I mean, th th these are very sturdy figures. You can't fucking break these figures because you can you can pop them apart, but you can't break them. They're very sturdy. They're very nice figures. Um, this ninja figure, you know, at the end of the day, what, what what do we really have to say about this figure? Is it worth the, the you know the fifteen dollars, the fourteen ninety nine, or whatever they're selling it for at Target, Walmart, wherever you might find these things? And I gotta say, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a nice figure. It's got cool accessories. Comes with a little fucking comic book. I really don't have a whole lot of problems with this figure, except for the fact that as a character, I do find him a little bit bland. But if, you know what, if, if, if as an army builder, it might be kind of cool to have a couple of ninjors fucking uh, flanking Hordak or something like that in, in a display. Uh, if you can find that many of them, that would be the problem because these things have become so so rare, the characters that aren't He-Man and aren't Skeletor, and maybe Mattel is working on that, maybe Mattel is, is fixing that problem, and I should hope that they are. I should hope that we see more of these other characters in the future as as we move forward into 2021 and then 2022 and hopefully this origins line goes on and we do get more of a uh, fucking my favorite characters characters like whiplash um, and, and other characters that that what i hope to see and i hope not to have to fucking strangle an old lady to get so that's ninja by mattel from masters of the universe origins series well, that's Ninja. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Hey, this martial arts month. It was a great idea. I can't wait to find out what's coming up next. Well, don't get too excited. Why is that? What could possibly... Oh, God. Is it what I think it is?